Hello YouTube, this is Asasu5, and this is day 7 of the Rum Diaries. Um, I have this Vesquela Rum, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, and this is what it looked like originally. It was crystal clear, and um, I put it in this oak barrel, this charred oak barrel, and theoretically it should change it into a gold rum. So, um... I left it in here for seven days, one week, and we're going to try it, and we're going to compare it to this as well. Also, worth mentioning, I got some McLaren um, glasses. These are crystal glasses, lead-free crystal gra <laughs> glasses. Um, as far as I can tell, this is like the equivalent of a gold spoon for test tasting stuff. This is what most people use to taste uh, liquor. So first, we're going to pour a little bit of this clear stuff to sample. Not a whole lot, just a little. Let's see. And we're going to take the bung off. Oh man, it's really tight. Yep, that smells like rum. And as you can see, there is a very clear difference between the two rums. So the same came both came from the same bottle, but one is a golden amber color, and the other one is crystal clear. And I'm just going to sample this. And uh, and you didn't add any room spice or anything? I right? didn't add any additives. This is purely from the oak barrel. So, um, first I'm going to try the um, clear stuff. Smells good. I usually don't drink stuff straight, so that's kind of odd, but it was kind of a, a sweetness to it. Still has some of the balm from the alcohol, but it had a sweet note to it. Smells different, but I can't tell you what it actually tastes like or smells like um, compared to that. It just smells different. Hmm. It tastes different. It wasn't quite as fruity, and um, it didn't seem to have as much bone to it. Uh, it's very interesting. Keep in mind I'm not a professional rum taster. I usually put rum in coke, make a Cuba Libre, but uh, that's definitely interesting. <laughs> My face. I'd say there was more of a, a bite to it. Uh, I'm going to pour this back in here, wait another week, and see how it changes. You know what? I'm going to leave this in here for another week and try it, but I might actually prefer the clear stuff better. Hmm. Uh, but um, yeah, it's just this is an experiment. Uh, uh, supposedly, the longer you leave it in here, the more it's going to mature. 
and um, a lot of the more expensive spirits are aged longer, like uh, scotch, whiskey, rum, um, tequila. The older they are, the um, more expensive they are, and theoretically, the better they are. So I'm going to continue to age this and want to see if it mellows out a little bit. That's it. I'm a top two five and I'm out.